This is not your standard breakfast show with Andy Curtis. And it's not your standard breakfast show on Surf Radio. We're live at Prasa at the Standard Hua Hin, and I've been joined by Wayne Davis from Jungle Aid. Good morning, Wayne. Good morning, Andy. How are you doing? Very good, thank you. Good. I'm, I'm glad to see you brought your whole family with you, and you, you've all got the lovely green Jungle Aid T-shirts. Where's mine? <laughs> I'll go home and get you on. How's that? Okay, maybe <laughs> after the show. Uh, Wayne, thanks very much indeed for joining us today. What is Jungle Aid and, and what does it benefit? Who does it benefit? Okay, so Jungle Aid is a registered Thai charity. Right. Uh, which is quite important with fundraising and uh, transparency and things like that. Um, we, uh, Jungle Aid was formed in 2011, so I guess we'll have our 13th birthday sometime this year. Um, we do a number of different things in the community, uh, but the main thing we do is take care of four villages right. along the Burmese border. These are displaced communities, so they're the people who were born, they don't have any birth certificates, they're not recognized as Thai or Burmese, they don't have access to the hospital system or the school system here unless they get some help from some organizations such as ourselves. Right. Uh, we make a trip every two weeks to one of the villages. We bring a doctor with us. Uh, we bring uh, hygiene presentations. Um, we also uh, support uh, uh, any efforts of education. Um, beyond the four villages, uh, we also support 90 students wow. to help them get through school. Some of them from the general fund and some of the students are actually sponsored by individual people. Those would be those going on to say a four-year college or university program. They would have an individual sponsor. And just a little while ago, we had a young lady graduate from a four-year accounting degree. So wow. it's just fantastic because you do a lot of things. You don't always see the results. You know you're helping people, but you go and you do stuff and you go home and you don't see them for a while. Sure, it's but, kind of a thankless task, isn't it? Well, really? sometimes, but you just have to take a look at the long-term views. And this girl graduating with a four-year degree That's pretty is good. something that we can just put in the bank right there. So sure. it's wonderful, yeah. Fantastic. Um, so... That's basically the, the nutshell of what Jungle Aid is for. How many people are involved in it? I mean, is it, is it all uh, Western people or are there Thai people involved as well? Uh, most, I would say, Western. Okay. But we certainly have Thai people. Like, for example, uh, the people that go through the applications for educational support. Those are Thais that work in of a course. Thai school here, and they know everything about it. Obviously, we wouldn't be able to even read the, the applications, let alone know it's spo- right, supposed right. to be in there. Um, and, uh, but it is a lot of foreigners and the people do what they can, you know. So just as an example, we get a lot of donations from the local community, uh, you know, clothing and other uh, household items and things like that. So we have a team, mostly ladies, that go through every individual item and separate what can go to the village. Right. Some things can't go to the village like high heel shoes and, <laughs> you know, western size clothing. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so we sell those in flea markets and, and right, raise money right. to... Uh, to buy rice and, and other things. And to raise money in that way is probably a good way as well. Then you're actually giving something that can kind of be sold to, to make money for Exactly. The so nothing goes to waste. Uh, how did you get involved? Um, just by uh, certain people that I knew that were involved in uh, Jungle Aid, one from the school, one that we met socially. Uh, they were doing these things and they said, hey, this is something you can sink your teeth into. And uh, after arriving here seven years ago, I was looking for something you know, to, that, I, that I could do to help out the local community. Right. Yeah. And Jungle Aid ticked all those boxes. Yes. Uh, you know, we all the volunteers, we kind of, as much as possible, do the, the chores that we like to do. Right. Sure, You, you sure. know, so some, some people, you know, specializing in certain things. Like mm. I said, the donations team, obviously our doctors. We've got some people that just show up with their pickup truck when we need a vehicle on a trip, and they just sure. love to drive their their vehicle with people and food and toys for the kids and stuff like that. And I suppose it also gives you an opportunity to see parts of Thailand that you, you may not have seen before. Well, you wouldn't see these things, you know. Uh, we, uh, like I said, we have four villages. Two of them require four-wheel drives. Right. And so you wouldn't, you just wouldn't see this kind of thing. Right. Uh, I mean, literally, I mean, obviously the clue is in the name of the charity, but presumably mm. they're sort of, you know, right in the, in the back end of nowhere uh, in the jungle. Th- that's right. We, we do have a couple of ones that are a little bit closer to town, but they are, they're, they're basically in the jungle. They're out of sort of the mainstream of the Thai uh, economy, so to speak. Right. And, uh, and it's a tough life for them if right. they don't have some help. Uh, we've chatted with other people that are involved in other various charities and so on, and, and a lot of them seem to revolve around children. 
Uh, are children a main focus also of Jungle Aid, or is it just in general the people that you're helping? Sure. Well, we we'll help anybody, and believe me, we're helping some very elderly people. Okay. Uh, ones that either uh, with physical problems, medical problems, or just kind of left out of the loop. They don't have any offspring to take care of them, so they're right. kind of just barely squeaking by. And those would be people that maybe live beside the village that, that we take care of, but it doesn't matter. If someone needs help, we're going to help them. We're not picking any particular group or anything like that. Right. Yeah. Uh, there was a, a charity event at Monsoon Valley over the weekend. Yes. We'll talk about that in a moment. Mm -hmm. I saw a couple of Facebook posts and I saw that you'd raised some money, but I wasn't aware of how much money was raised. Tell us a little bit about the event and you can shock everybody by, by telling us all how much was raised. Sure. Uh, yeah, this uh, event was uh, put on by Monsoon Valley uh, to... Uh, at the end of the week of the uh, the Harvest Festival, where they had a grape stomping and other activities, uh, live band, and uh, but to raise money for Jungle Aid, so they provided a raffle. Uh, there were 13 Jungle Aid volunteers there selling raffle tickets. Uh, there was also an auction. Right. Uh, the big highlight was uh, we had a signed jersey that Alex Albon wore at the F1 in Singapore. Went actually wore it when he was driving. And uh, that was auctioned off. A very generous gentleman uh, bid 50,000 baht for the T-shirt. 50,000 baht. Yeah, and, and he wasn't even interested in the shirt. In fact, <laughs> in fact, he was on his way back to his car and he'd forgotten the shirt. I think and he so, needed a few more generous his, donors his wife, like that. His wife said, what, well, didn't you get something for that? <laughs> Anyways, uh, we raised a total of 138,000 baht. That's incredible. And uh, for Jungle Aid, that, that's a big chunk of money. Uh, just to give you an example, to put it in perspective, um, I take care of a school children's shelter on behalf of Jungle Aid down in Bangsapan. And we've got anywhere between 50 and 70 kids. And that's to get them out of the jungle, whether they'll never have any education or access to any opportunities in life. And the rice we provide with them, which is just the basic food stuff, we spend 9,000 a month. So that's 108,000 a year. So this was 138,000. Uh, wow. So the basic food for that school children's shelter was covered by that. That's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. One of the other charities, as I mentioned earlier on, that, that we talked to last year was mentioning that, that they focus very much on swimming and they also focus on uh, English lessons as well. Is, is, that, is it the, the range of, of subjects that are being taught or is it just in general? Yeah, well, it kind of depends uh, how you're set up and what your strengths are. So Jungle Aid is very strong in the medical. Our founder was a registered nurse. Right. And so we've always been, uh, that's always been a, a strong point for us. Um, but, you know, that's, that's just fixing what's wrong today. You know, it's for the future of these people, right? Our T-shirts say for a brighter future. Right. Uh, and we obviously have to keep them healthy and, and fed. But uh, education is a, a very important part. Most of our expenditures are actually on education. Mm. We have over 90 students sponsored. Uh, these are not the little kids. There's too many to count that we help go to school. <laughs> Talking about the ones that have applied, right. you know, with photographs and we get their records and the records are checked and, and everything some, like that. Some of whom eventually go off to university as That's well. That's right. And we've got a number that, that, that have university degrees. And they, so they literally got out of the jungle instead of a future working in the palm plantations. That's fantastic. Uh, they can go and get a normal job and their offspring will have those opportunities that, that right. they never actually had. That's fantastic. How does it make you feel when you see the work that you've done and how far these people are being able to go? Yes, uh, it's different for everybody. Um, but, uh, for example, when I first started, I found it frustrating because uh, we went and helped these people, but I, I felt like we couldn't do enough for them. We couldn't give them the opportunities anywhere near what we had growing up. And so just kind of the rest of the day after a trip was kind of a little bit bummed out, you know. Um, and it took about a year, uh, uh, myself going to the school children's shelter in Bangsapan, and that I still remember that one trip, something changed in my mind, and I realized that all the hours, all the sweat, frustration, stress, if we can just help one person have a better life, it's worth it. And you can't, uh, you can't quantify by, you know, there's no numbers for any of this, obviously you feed people, but when people start graduating from university, you can certainly write those numbers down. Sure, you know? and that, that's all basically because Jungle Aid has been able to help them to, to educate them and, and to give them that extra push that they needed to get further education. Yeah, you know, the, uh, we're lucky, even though these people don't have ID uh, in the lower grades, the Thai school system lets them go to school. 
uh, and, and, and gives them lunch, which is a big difference because otherwise we'd have to do it. Uh, and so uh, we just have to provide sometimes just a base of, of confidence. And if somebody gets sick in their community, you know, we can go in with a doctor and, and we, can, we can help them. Uh, how much has been raised by Jungle Aid? Any idea on the, off the top of your head how much has been raised over the, the, the time that it's been uh, in operation? I, I, I don't have a total uh, number for that, but I can give you some idea of, of what we've done. For example, I think our, our count on rice is over 40,000 kilos wow. of rice that we've delivered. And there's also all kinds of other foodstuffs as well. I could, I could get out the spreadsheet, but I don't think it's too interested <laughs> for me to be reading that to you. Um, we've uh, treated over 5,000 patients in right. our clinics. Uh, some would be very minor things like abrasions. It could be head lice. We take care of sort of basic things. And if it's something more serious and, and we identify it, then we would recommend and assist them to get to the hospital for further treatment. Okay, so what's the, the short-term plans for Jungle Aid? Well, you know, we have a, a regular schedule. So, like I said, we have four main villages, and we do a trip twice a month. So, uh, twice a month, we pack up the truck. Uh, if we, if we do food, food support for those villages, but some of them, they don't need it. They need us to make sure the roads work so they can get to work. Right. And they've got clean water. Uh, and so we, we pack up the truck and we go with volunteers. We do hygiene presentations. It's very important because they, they don't understand about that, that, you know, when you're older, if you have teeth, you might get a better job and things like that. <laughs> things that we grew up with, but they don't have in their culture. Are, they, are there any other affiliations or is it all purely Thailand based? Uh, yes, we're, we're based in Hua Hin. Well, look, the work that you guys are doing is, is quite spectacular, and presumably you will continue with Jungle Aid as long as you're in Hua Hin. Yes, as long as I'm physically able to. You know, we've had some people work for us for a long time and actually got really old and had to just watch, but I'm still, <laughs> I still think i got a few more good years in me, Andy. <laughs> well... If any of our listeners are interested in helping with Jungle Aid in any way, either by donation or volunteering, how do they get in touch with? Yeah, so they can go to uh, they can go to www.jungleaid.org. You can just look up Jungle Aid on Facebook. It's probably maybe the easiest for a lot of people. You can just send in a message and say, "Hey, I'd like to know more. I'd like to get involved, uh, or I'd like to donate." Uh, we can tell you how to do that. If you want to physically get involved, then you will get someone to have a chat with you and see where you might fit in, what, what, you know, what your skills are, what your interests are, and, and, and how you can help out. And even if you only know about spreadsheets, that'll be useful too, no doubt. Yeah, we have people <laughs> buy, because I'm not doing the spreadsheets. I, I'm the one that, that humps the rice into the back of the truck and delivers it, and that's what I want to do. I think I'd rather do that. Spreadsheets? No, thank you very much. Uh, Wayne, thanks very much indeed for joining us today, especially on your birthday as well. Again, happy birthday from all of us at Surf, and thanks very much indeed for the work that you're doing with Jungle Aid, and thank you to Jungle Aid too. Thank you. It's been an absolute pleasure.